Running is confronting yourself because you're getting into this really raw space with yourself. I was one of the first women that was emerging out of what people call the urban running community. It was exciting to me, but it felt pretty male-oriented. Over the years, I saw a need for specifically a group where women could train. The emphasis was on having a space that felt safe. So I decided to start a women's only project. NYC is an open workout for women. All right, ladies, our finish line is going to be the end of the bocce courts. I did pop-up runs for women in the winter. By the springtime, had about 20 core women, and then the group just started growing. It's nice to be able to just come together and really just build one another up. Nice. Let's do that again. As a woman, you're very aware that you are a woman in sport. If you're out with six or seven women running in a group, people see that and they're like, oh wow, this like range of women who look like them. I think with Girls Run, we actually created a community that didn't previously exist. We use social media as a way of sharing that with other women. There are people who follow us in China, in Brazil, Copenhagen, you know, like anywhere who see what we're doing and are inspired by that. <laughs> we also use a WhatsApp group as another way of communicating during the week. Not too late, come. It started as informational, but it's turned into this really special space to talk about life. I come because it's cheaper than therapy. <laughs> you just get in this rhythm with everyone else and it just really empowers you. Fall forward. Currently, I really want women to walk away with running as a tool for just a general wellness lifestyle as something that they think can be sustainable for them throughout life not just with the women who show up, but the next generation and, and women outside of New York. Girls,